Howdy folks, it's Tall Journal. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. And today we're going to do a themed flight in the big radios. Goom, groom and goo, goom and goose, and goo, groom and goose. Today, we actually had a first look video of this the other day, so go ahead and watch that. We go over the airplane in detail, provided to me by Big Radials as a gift, as a thank you for seven years of flight sim thus far, and hopefully many, many more. Today's flight, as you can tell by the title of the video, Alone, Season 9. If you recall, I've been, I had been flying all the areas where the TV show Alone has been filmed, pointing out bases if I can, bases meaning where the film crew stays, as well as the campsites if I can find them, based on paying attention to things and research. And we were doing it for each season. We are currently in season 10 of Alone. It started the other day, but I never did the location video for season 9. So that's where we are. We are in Labrador, Canada, you know, like a Labrador retriever, um, north of Newfoundland in the region called, if I can get it pronounced right, uh, Nunastivut, right? Let me try that again. Nunastivut, Nunastivut, or something. That's where we are. You can Google it on the map if you want to. Otherwise, it's in the northeast extreme area of um, Labrador, Canada. So, we are starting out what I could find the nearest airport. And then it's along kind of like a river where they filmed. And that's where we're going to fly today. And we are able to land in the water. So, we will just get an idea for the outside here. We do have real weather turned on. And I think we're just going to go late morning. I think we have a set for like 9 something a.m. And we're just going to fly along and check out the area and um, see what I can remember from where they actually had their sights. <laughs> because it's been a couple years since it was filmed. Um, so we'll just do what we can, I guess. I don't have much more information than that. If we pull up the VFR map, I'll show you what this looks like. So here we are. Oops, it's not going to go much farther. So, the extremes of Labrador, the Nanistaviot region, from the tippity tip, all along the coast to here. That's the region that they filmed in, but I know they filmed, if I remember correctly, they filmed along this river here. Everybody was around here, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong, and it could have been 100 miles up this way. But if I remember right, they filmed in this area. So we're going to just fly along this river area. So we're going to take off, head to the north, land in this river somewhere. It won't be a very long flight. We'll spend more time starting the airplane up and talking about it than flying it. But that's how it is sometimes. Flight sim isn't only landing and landing and taking off. It's everything else in between. Uh, we're not going to use a gyro pilot today either. I talked about how that exists in the first look video, but I haven't done it. Not going to in this video either. Checklist. I have not made my own checklist yet, so we will use the one provided by Big Radios in their manual. Uh, we're going to just jump to the startup. Parking brake set it is because the orange things are pulled out. Actually, I'm going to do something first. I'm going to open up the secret compartment and open up the secret panel. And we're going to do the yokes to leather because I like it. Um, the rest of this can stay like that for now. I guess I could have done the chocks and everything. I think there's a chalk camera or something to stick out there. There's an anchor for the water. We could have done the boarding. We could have had the doors open. We could have, could have, but we didn't. So this is where we're starting. Otherwise, let's see here. Um, battery switches. This preview battery switches and generators on. The click spots are tough to find and they move. Come on. I wish the click see the click spot for here was on the tip of the switch. The click spot for here is on the on. So they're in different spots. I've talked about that with a few of their aircraft and I've let them know that um maybe they could revisit their click spots and put lights in their startup procedure checklist. <laughs> Anywho, what is next here after battery switch is carburetor cold it is by default. Um yep. Fuel tank selector, undesired tank, or both. We use both. We just click this thing and toggle straight up. Come on now. Why are you being there? You go straight up to both. Oh, fuel tanks to cut off. Valves on. Do we turn those on? We don't touch this one. There's one right here. We don't touch it. Crossfeed is 
in op. So it's always on. Close, I mean, it's always closed. 3 to 4 PSI. That guy steered me walking out there. I was not expecting that. <laughs> I think we do two wobbles. And then we should be at 3 to 4 PSI. I love how it squeaks. I don't know if you can hear that. But here we go. 6 PSI. What? Okay, so two warbles is 6 PSI. Maybe we do one warble next time. Okay. Ignition emergency and I can switch on. That's pushing that in, I think. Mixture cutoff it is. Um, prime engine. I couldn't find the primer last time, so we're not going to do it this time either. Throttle cracked. Make needles to both, which I did not have on both last time. Um, all the way down to both, please. And prime engine already did that. Throttle crack. We need to start or engage. We'll just hold this extra long because we don't have a primer. And I have my child waving on the security camera. I better go check him out. Give me one moment. Now we will repeat for the other engine. Put it on both. Hold it to both and let's get it started. That is really loud. Again, we're not primed because I don't know the primer is. So we have to hold it for a long time. It will work, I promise. There we go. Listen to that amazing sound. Let me crank it up in editing for you for a second here. Isn't that awesome? Alrighty, let's see. What is next after I do all that stuff? <laughs> next on the checklist. Um, let's just make sure it's auto rich, which is the second line in, which is good. Etc. Etc. We're looking at what are we looking at here? We're looking at 1000 RPMs increase after 60 seconds. And then I think it's. I can't remember what it is. 1000 RPMs when we taxi. Yeah, so let's go back here a little bit. Wait, we only have one. Hang on, look at that. Only one RPM is going up, the other is going down. Why is that? Why is only one engine responding to my manifold? See that? So I don't know why that's not working. Let me restart it just for fun. Maybe that'll be I'm going to stop running. Why did it stop running? All I did was pause the sim for like 20 minutes. That's all I did. Weird. Okay, well, it's running now, so we're happy. Okay, warm up established 802,000 RPMs. After 60 seconds, do full prop. Check no pressure drops. We're still waiting for the other engine to catch up. There we go. And so and so, other things you can read about if you were flying. All right, cool. We're ready to taxi, but not really, because we're going to see if there's ADIS here. There is ADIS. Let's hear what happens here. Ghost Bay Airport Information Sierra 1600 Zulu. Wind 220 at 16. Visibility 15. Sky condition, few clouds at 13,600 feet. Temperature 25. 2.10. Altimeter 29 decimal 65. Visual runway 26 in use. Landing and departing runway 26. VFR aircraft say direction of flight. All aircraft read back hold short instructions. Advise controller on initial contact UF Sierra. Alright, tuned in clear, so now we're going to there's nothing here. Um tuned in ground. There we go. That's kind of strange. We're going to depart to the north, so that's number five. Goose Bay Ground Turtle Soup Tango 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 41 with Sierra Request Taxi for takeoff departure to the north. Turtle Soup Tango 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 41 Taxi 2 and hold short of runway 26 via taxiway Juliet Golf Papa Bravo cross runway 15. Contact tower on 119 or decimal 5 when ready. Taxi 2 and hold short runway 26 using taxiway Juliet Golf Papa Bravo Cross Runway 15 Turtle Soup Tango 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 41. Uh, we don't want landing lights on yet, but we want everything else on. Okie dokie, let's put that away. There's our taxi ribbon there and parking brake release 1000 RPMs, less than 10 knots, and smoothly keep both hands on controls. That's how we're going to taxi this thing. So here we go. Uh, let's do first set of flaps because oh my, it does go on its own. Um, the 
checklist does not tell you when to put your flaps down, but it does tell you to retract them once you've taken off. So that's kind of interesting. And then, um, yeah. Alrighty, just going very slowly here. Camera is kind of at a weird angle. Oh, that's because the airplane is tipped backwards naturally. Okay, that makes sense. Quick, easy taxi, slower than 10 knots. It sounds beautiful. I'm going to crank up the sound while we taxi. Very nice. I do think, I've always thought that the front of Groom and Goose looks like the letter G. Like if I were to personify the letter G, that's what this would look like. So I think it fits it perfectly and it just looks interesting. Looks mad, but not in a mean way. Just serious, get the job done, get out of my way. That's what it looks like to me. Um, be careful here with the brakes. There we go. Something I forgot to do. I like to turn on my wheel hubs because I think it's cool. Alrighty, let's see. GPS, we're not going to use it. I just have that there for the other little fun things you can do. Oh, I'm not going to use the GPS. Um, so now we're just going to head to the north and check out this lake, which I can't remember what it's called. So if I look it up and I remember, I'll put it on your screen right now. That's what this lake is called. This river lake thing. That's where we're headed um, to check things out. Alone Season 9. I don't even remember who won. We've already started watching Lone, Alone Season 10, and it's really super dramatic, two episodes in. And they do a lot of behind-the-scenes content in their first episode, which I think is freaking cool. Um, so check out Alone Season 10. What we usually do is I think we normally buy the season on Amazon for like $20. $20 for 10 plus episodes is like no big deal. Cheaper than some subscription services and it's cheaper than a movie <laughs> so we don't mind doing that long taxi so i think i'm just going to um well let's look around quickly and then i'll meet you other but let's first look around quickly i know this is u.s coast guard and we're in canada but whatever they're helping out and they probably have a new fee with them a newfoundland dog which um, they use for water rescues in Newfoundland, and the US Coast Guard uses them as well. They have webbed feet, they can pull 30, 200 pounds. So what they do is they'll give them a rope, and adults will grab onto the rope in the ocean, and the dog can pull them back to safety. The dog can swim through ocean waves. I'm not exaggerating any of this. And we actually pip picked up a Newfoundland puppy last weekend um, my family is completely overwhelmed by a puppy I've had several puppies in the past so nothing surprises me but um, as much as I prepared the family they are completely taken aback by an eight week old puppy I keep in mind that this eight week old Newfie that we have is larger than a mid-size adult dog and he's eight weeks my wife who is five six holds him he goes from her neck below her knees eight weeks old we knew that though and we also got a new fee because they're amazing emotional support animals for our children they do not require two plus hours of exercise every day like golden retrievers and golden doodles and German Shepherds, they, those all need two plus hours of strenuous exercise. This guy needs half an hour of moderate exercise a day and he's done. Um, which we usually get that in the morning and he sleeps for five hours. <laughs> the thing about Newfies is they like to work though. They're smart dogs. They're not like physical running around crazy dogs. Where are we being taken by the way? The heck? I always question their taxi routes. Anyway, so we do have dog puzzles for him. 
and we have to find a way to make them work. They're happiest when they work. So you can cart train them and have them pull 30, 200 pounds. We're not going to do that, but we're going to find some way to make him work because then he'll be happiest. Um, oh, we get to follow somebody. They're going to tell us to caution traffic before we run into this person. Now nah, we're about to run into them. Should we skip ahead here? I don't want to wait for them. Anyway, so we got a new feed puppy. Um, I said I would never own a dog. And then I said I would never own a dog unless it's enormous. And that was about 10 years ago. And we finally have a dog. And he loves water, of course, because he loves to be cold. For us, it's cold, but he likes to be, you know, chilly. So he will play in water, and he smells us so bad after two days from getting wet and being in the dirt. So he's going to be getting bigger baths. So anyway, there's our Newfie story. Um, I'm actually totally in love with the dog. Best decision we've ever made in a long time. Um, I have the opposite of buyer's remorse. And I thought that I would just go along with it while the rest of my family like took care of it but I've definitely been the primary already I can't believe it alrighty um we're not going to do an engine run up today so we're ready to take off we need to tell them we're ready to take off tune in tower take off clearance to the north tower turtle soup tango 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 41 ready for departure to the north at runway 26 turtle soup tango 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 41 altimeter 29 or decimal 6 Takeoff runway 26, Turtle Soup Tango, Tango, Tango 41. Alrighty. Um, did ATC break again? Or just we haven't taken off yet? Alright, let's see here. Cross feed closed, yes, tail wheel locked. Gotta remember that. Well, actually, we can't do tail wheel locked until we've climbed onto the runway. Um, carb hold cold, yes. Trims in neutral, yes. Mixture auto rich, it still is. I park the brake on. Um, you can tell, well, you can't tell from this angle, but auto rich is this first indentation from the far side. And, well, which way are we going? <laughs> Stop. We're in the middle of the runway. Whatever, I don't care. Um, I thought something was strange there, but anyway. <laughs> Um, make sure auto rich parking brake release. Yes, smooth increase on the throttle. Yes, all we need to do first before we take off is come down here. Ugh, careful on those brakes. And lock the tail wheel. And we are all set. If we had a timer, we'd use it, but I don't have a timer, so we're not going to use it. You can look at the clock, though. What's it say? Quarter to two. And off we go. We have flaps down. We do have flaps down one. We don't really. Oh gosh, I wasn't looking. Sorry. And we're up already. There we go. You only need like 10 feet. And the wind, the crosswind is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. This crosswind is insane. That's fine. We get to fly road weather. That's all that matters. Flaps coming in. And trimming back, trimming back, trimming back. Gear coming up. You can see it cranking up. There's the inspection thing there, see? It just came up. You can move around the cabin and everything. Tower Turtle Soup, Tango, 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 4-1, continue for north departure. You can tell here we're heading west-southwest. You can confirm that by looking at the um, Revar map. So let's Head out to the north and check out that lake, which I can't remember the name. I apologize. But yes, you can move about the whole cabin and everything. Open doors, it's super fun. So do check out the first look video if you haven't already. It's fairly recent. It may have even been the video before this, depending on the Formula One schedule. Um, but anyway, checking this out. It's not the greatest scenery because they don't have much better scenery at the moment for this. I believe some of Canada has been updated here and there. But this is fine for us, and it looks Turtle cold. Tango, 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 4 leaving my airspace frequency change approved. Tower Turtle Soup, Tango, 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 4 frequency change. 
All right, after landing checklist, gear is up, flaps are up, and we got five minutes to control our throttle. So we want to get down to 34 and a half manifold pressure. We are at 38. Bring back this 34. Props, stop it. Mission max out at 2200. I'm looking up here. My gauge is right here. Now we are at climb. Carburetor he has required. Um, is it below 5 degrees Celsius? I don't know the OAT, which is outside air temperature. So let's turn carb heat on. Um, is there an OAT? There's not. Uh, carb's pretty high. Look at That's not. Um, let's just keep. Oh, there's OAT. Zero degrees. So it says if. Hang on. Careful. That wasn't zero degrees, was it? Let's move over here. It says. 10. It's 10 degrees Celsius, and so we're going to keep carb heat cold. Okay, very simple. Uh, we're heading a little northeast now, which is fine. Um, our lake river thing should be up here, right? If you check out the VFR map. Yeah, we have a ways to go yet. It's up here. Um, let's see what else. Cruise throttle, 34 and a half, 2200 RPM. Auto rich we are. It's auto lean if we're less than 70% power. And there you go, car heat up below 5. So we are good on our cruise checklist. Uh, we don't need to worry about our approach yet. We will land in water, because it's fun. Um, but not quite yet. Looking out, not really to the ocean from here, but the ocean is out there. We're just in this big bay when there's the ocean. Um, Newfoundland is south of us. Oh man, it is windy. Anyway, let's hop outside. We'll use this view for now because if I use my drone, I can't control my airplane. Take some potential screenshots here for the thumbnail. Let's get a good look like we're turning. There we go with all of our lights on. <laughs> Super cool. But I love this plane, so it is payware, so go buy it. Big radios. I did a first look video of all four of their aircraft. As a thank you for flights and the gift to me in the entire hangar, which at this point is four aircraft. All right, feels like we're not moving, but we are. So let's check out our vitals. We are at what? Coming up on 6,000 feet. We do not need to go higher than that. 150 knots. There we go. Looking good. Simple as that. Again, this is the gyro thing. Um, when we, I'm drawing a blank. I'm drawing a blank. It's not autopilot, it's gyro pilot. There we go, gyro pilot. What do they call it? Automatic pilot. See flight instructions. Before takeoff, turn pilot off and uncage both gyros. After takeoff, trim airplane, align cards and patterns, pointers. Turn pilot on. There we go, that's how it works. We're not going to use it though. All right, there's the big river lake thing we're looking for. And then we'll. Um, fly down and land on it. So normally what I would do in these videos is I would actually point out where the sights were for the different contestants and things, but I don't really remember. Um, if I am remembering correctly that they were along this lake, then they were literally like spread out along this lake and a little further out too if we pull out the VFR map. I believe there are some people out in, might have been on the little lakes here and out here, but along here. There might have been somebody out here, too. If I'm remembering this correctly, if I'm not mixing up my TV shows. I am a reality TV show junkie, but the game show type. So, Alone is one of our favorites. It's probably the most realistic. Put realistic in quotes. People have been like, but they are actually at campsites and national parks. Well, of course they are, because it would be illegal to be somewhere else. And people will be like, but there's a road half a mile behind them. Of course there's, because they're in a state park. But the point is they're not going to run into other people. So it's real. Um, then we like the reality, like, cooking and building show thing. All of the building shows are the fakest. They're just as fake as all their stuff. But anyway. Anyway, I don't need to get into that. So we're just going to look outside a little bit more. Then we're going to come in and land on that river lake thing. And then I'll also be recording Alone Season 10 soon, which just started like a week ago or half a week ago or something. I've only seen two episodes of that one. 
but it's easy to spot where they are. So we're going to do that. So what are we at? 6,000, 7,000 feet, 7,160 feet. So let's start coming down so we can go along the water. So to descend, you bring back throttles, and then you keep your nose pointed up if you want to slow down, point it down if you want to keep the same speed. But anyway, you bring back throttles. So approach. Um, approach is above 1,000 AGL, which we are by a lot. Um, auto rich, yes. Increased propeller RPM, yep. Fullest tanker, both will be on both. You want your approach to be um, 80 to 100 knots, which we'll worry about later. Flaps is needed. We can put the flaps down now, but they won't come out until they're needed, which is super cool. So let's put the flaps out, but they're not going to come out until our speeds are appropriate. Gear will remain up for this because it's water landing. Then we'll turn on the water helper once we land. Final approach, 75 knots. Landing, 60 to 75 knots. Very straightforward. So 100 knots for our final approach, or for our approach, final approach, 75. Okie dokie. Let's bring my throttles all the way, which means this light will turn on because our gear is up. But we want our gear up because we're going to land in the water. Okie dokie. Um, we're not going to land for a while yet. We're going to start coming down. Come back out towards the ocean. Mountains out there, too. There's a bridge to connect the communities. Well, guys, there's not much out here. Not much at all. Um, season 10 is also in Canada. Reindeer Lake in Saskatchewan. You don't see that very often. But we'll be recording that later. That'll be out later. <laughs> so subscribe so you know when that comes out. Turn on notifications. Hit the like button, even if you normally don't. Because it lets everybody know we're here. Um, I'm not a huge numbers person. But more and more people enjoy my content which flatters me to no end so if you want to spread the word so more people can enjoy it hit the like button so the algorithm points it out always um no one to know we're here unless you want to keep it to yourselves that's fine but <laughs> that's not fair to some other people alrighty um everything is good right checking out fuel levels temperatures on the green everything is fine OAT is still 10 degrees Celsius. Rule rather is turned on. Flaps have not come out because we're going too fast. And, um, yeah, enjoy the descent here. Beautiful. Even though it's not the greatest quality of scenery, because of where we are, it's still beautiful. And there's snow on the ground because remember, with rule of weather, if there's snow in real life, you will get snow on the ground. And there's probably snow there, even though it's summer here in the United States. Alrighty, let's see here. We are at 2,000 feet. We have a ways to go because this is basically sea level because it comes off the sea. So that's going to be pretty easy to tell. Water landings are difficult, especially without peripheral vision, because you need to use a reference point on shore so you know when you're going to hit water so you don't flip the aircraft. Um... It won't be too difficult in the simulator, though. And then we'll anchor. We'll use water helpers when we land. We'll taxi towards shore. We'll use the anchor when we want to stop. It says there's a stool that only works when you're on water. I did not see it during my first look video. And I don't know anything about that stool. Gears up. Flaps will come down when they're ready. I'm going to get down to about 100 knots now. Um, which is right now, so this is a good approach speed. Um, lights are the way we want them. Gears the way we want it. Flaps are the way we want it. We are good. So we're just going to come down. What are we at? It says we're only at 800 feet. Okay. Flaps are out now. We are reaching our touchdown speed. So maybe we'll speed up a little bit by nosing down and giving some throttle. 65 to 70 knots is touchdown speed. That light came on to warn us that we're going to stall. And we want to touch down on the little white arc. So what are we at? 300 feet? 200 feet? Looking out the window. 
in real life we would look for a reference point and but I want to keep an eye on our speed here we go 10 5 and slight flare just so we don't flip over and there we go boom we're riding on the back but there we go perfect nice nice okay let's come down here let's use her water helper there we go so let's say I actually wanted to go to the other side I wanted to talk to those people it's a big lake so we have ways to go so how do you taxi this thing well you go slowly and use water helper you normally want to just use one engine or the other but because I have them both tied to one spot on my yoke I cannot do that even if I try to do it with the mouse um, so that's just what we have to deal with flaps coming in um, I don't think we're going to make it all the way to shore. That's going to take a long time. <laughs> we have a long ways to go to get across this lake. It's a big lake. But it's beautiful. And look at the wake we make. Oh my gosh. Whoa, why are you going so fast? Pay attention. There are no brakes. So if we go too fast, we're going to run into shore. So what we're going to do, we're going to get close to shore. And then we'll put the anchor out. We'll see if the stool works. The fishing stool. And then we'll do our shut down here. And... Let me get my shutdown checklist out. There we go. Put my other monitor. And that'll be our Alone Season 9. I apologize I couldn't point out any of the campsites, but I just don't remember. It was a long time ago that I saw it. Season 10, I'll point out what I can. They're not as clear about, at least so far in that any, they're not as clear about where the actual campsites are. And of course, they might point out a campsite in the show on a map. But that doesn't mean that's exactly where they were. What I'm looking for in the next video of this on Season 10 is the home base where all the producers and production team and everything is. Um, it's a resort, and it should be very easy to spot. So that's what I'm excited about, is finding that more so than the individual campsites. Um, we could be pretty good here as far as getting close to shore. You don't want to run into any skinny dippers and interrupt. They're fun. Is that the stall light or something? Because we're going so fast. Again, no brakes. So we're at the mercy of drifting. So I'll let this thing slow down. In fact, we'll bring back props and cut off now. And then we'll slow down. There we go. And we'll put out the anchor. Anchor on. And you should go to see it with my crooked camera. There we go. Anchor's on. Just like that. All right, we have a bunch of lights on too. <laughs> we don't need all those lights on. So let's see the stool thing. I still don't understand where the fishing stool is. Maybe I have to be closer to land or something. I don't know. I must be blind. Anyway, time to shut this thing down. So we're going to... Let's see. Parking brake doesn't matter. Let's see, do, 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 do. We already did the, like, waiting so cool is down, all that stuff. We got to be careful about that so that it doesn't ruin anything, like a turbo car from the 80s. Let's put this away. Get her done with it. There we go. Turn all these lights off and everything. And I, I'm going to come over here and do the same thing. Off, it must be up. There we go. Uh, magnetos off. Fuel cutoff closed. Let's do the fuel cutoff first. And then this off which is all the way down come up here magnetos pull off and then do this thing i guess there we go and boom 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 and what else select off carb air cold it is emergency ignition switch yes battery and generator that's what it was i knew i was reading something generators and batteries and there we go I'll change that interesting anyway Hopefully you enjoyed the flight. Very simple, very brief, but the point was done, right? <laughs> Alone season nine. Um, campsites were along this river, and um, that's all I got to say. So like and subscribe, and then I'll do an Alone season 10 video soon, and some bush trips when they're released, and Formula One tracks as they race, and some other stuff. If you have a flight idea of your own, leave it in the comments below, and I'll fly it. See you next time.